The 1950s were the beginning of the, one of the biggest economic booms. For fashion, this meant the boxy structure of the 1940s came to an end with the new look. Clothes were similar in shape, but they varied in color and fabric. A popular trend for the decade was family and siblings wanting to match each other to impress their friends and neighbors. Wearing matching dresses for mothers and daughters or sisters was popular. With men back from the war, women focused on their role of being suburban homemakers, and this meant they wanted clothes that were easy to wash and keep clean. The 1950s clothing for women strived for a feminine silhouette. Peplum tops and dresses and skirts with rounded bottoms and a cinched waist were very popular. The baby boom during this time contributed to new comfortable clothes for maternity wear where teenagers were making their own style comfortable and casual as well. Men's clothing became simpler than the 1940s. No more shoulder pads, jackets were shorter, ties were slightly slimmer, and hats, brims were narrower. For young boys, the white shirt, leather jacket, and jeans was considered a bad boy look, where a suit or suit jacket was considered the preppy or Ivy League look. Some examples of prices for fashion in the 1950s was $249 for a pair of jeans, $488 for leather jackets, $495 for a woman's skirt, and $0.99 cents for polo shirts. The economy became better due to consumerism, which was driven by advertising. Robert Sarnoff, president of the National Broadcasting Company, said in 1956, the reason we have such a high standard of living is because advertisement has created American frame of mind that people want more things, better things, and newer things. This also applies to fashion. The media influences fashion by putting interest in the latest styles and trends through the wide publication of photos and ads. People see celebrities on these ads and want to wear what they are wearing, thus influencing their decision. Therefore, the media influences people and society to make certain decisions on what to buy, what to wear, and what to look like. 